I thank the gentleman for yielding. I think we should clarify something. Every day, Americans donate food, clothes, money to charities. Millions of Americans do that all the time. Most of those Americans don't expect to get something in return. They do it because it's the right thing to do. And it makes them feel like they're part of the American community. So every day Americans are giving. Now the tax code happens to also try to encourage us to do more giving, which I think all of us agree is good. So let's remove that from the debate because I, I think we're confusing folks who might be watching this. This isn't about trying to give people the, an incentive to give because Americans are doing it whether or not the tax code were to say to them, we want you to do this. The issue is this. Under the tax code, some Americans, not a majority of Americans, not even a, f a third of Americans, but a fraction of Americans can take advantage of the provisions in the tax code that give them tax breaks for having given something. You've heard a discussion about food. If you, if you gave uh, canned goods because the, the, the boy next door would put up that bag and you put canned goods in there and you, you gave them away, that, this provision does, isn't about that. No. There are a fraction of American taxpayers, mostly companies, restaurants and so forth, who can take advantage of it. You can't. Americans can't take advantage of that provision. There's a provision in here that says you have an IRA, an individual retirement account. Some Americans have IRAs. The majority of Americans don't, but some do. Okay. You want to be charitable? Say you, you've done fairly well. You want to give some of your IRA to a charity. The tax code says we want to incentivize you to do that. The tax code right now says you can give up to $100,000 in your IRA to charity. And guess what? That won't be recognized as income. How many Americans make 100000 not too many, but if you say you make $100,000, how much are you going to pay in taxes? How many of you have $100,000 in your IRA that you give away to a charity? Well, there are some people who can, and there are some people who do. And guess what? They get a tax break for doing that. It's a pretty big tax break if you think about how much you would pay in taxes on $100,000 of your income. They get to give that money away, and guess what? They don't get taxed a cent on that $100,000 that they just gave out of that IRA that they can do. And by the way, you don't get to just do it once in your lifetime. Every year, an American give away $100,000 out of your IRA and get the tax break. How many Americans do that? Tiny, tiny fraction. Tiny, tiny fraction. But guess what? When you take that IRA rollover tax break, and you take that other tax break for those companies that can give away food, and you take the other tax break for those who have land that they can give away to a charity, guess how much it adds up to? It adds up to what we today provide in funding to do research against cancer, breast cancer and all the research money we put in to do Alzheimer research. Same amount of money. And so when people say, ah, oh, you don't have to worry about the cost of that, you don't have to pay for this. Well, we could spend twice as much money to find a cure for breast cancer, twice as much money to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease. If we weren't giving away these tax breaks to somebody who could afford to give away $100,000 in their IRA every year to do good. By the way, that wealthy American could give $100,000 out of that IRA today. But they get a tax break for doing it. Would that stop them from giving away $100,000 just because they don't get the tax break? I don't think so. The recognized for an additional one minute. I don't think so. Because you don't have to be wealthy in America to give. We all want to give. In fact, the folks who give the most are the folks who earn the least. They give what they can. How many times have you been invited to someone's home who you know it's hard for them to put food on the table and they invite you to eat at their home and they don't expect you to give them a thing. We give because we think it's the right thing to do. The tax code wants to incent that, and that is good because we want to help charities. But to say that it doesn't have to be paid for, when we have to pay for all the cancer research for breast cancer, when we have to pay for the research to do Alzheimer's disease, when we have to pay for those food inspectors to make sure that the food that gets on our table 
is free of carcinogens and diseases and micro microbes that could da and dangerous? Absolutely, we have to pay for those things. As it was said earlier, there's no free lunch. And all we're saying is this, let's do good. And if we're going to give someone who's wealthy a chance to do good, let's pay for it. Let's figure out a way to do that because we want to be charitable. But let's not play this game that it doesn't cost somebody in America for this tax break that goes mostly to wealthy folks. With the that, I yield back the balance of my time.